Have you ever wondered what kind of gadgets and vehicles the military use to ensure that the bad guys don't stand a chance? Missions are completed successfully. As the bad guys get tough, the military has to find ways to outdo them and thus their technology gets weirder to the normal civilian, but it's indeed more sophisticated and tougher. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Forever Green. Today we are going to explore 10 most advanced technologies and vehicles that help militaries do unbelievable tasks. You should definitely stick around for number one as it will absolutely blow your mind. Number one, Palmatro Door Blaster. In the quest of taking down criminals, no soldier would expect the bad guys to gladly open their doors. As such, they are sometimes forced to break in. In movies, you may have seen the SWAT team use battering rams to break doors. This has proven to be a very noisy and time-consuming method that will probably see the bad guys escape by the time the team is done breaking the door. So, what's the solution? Say hello to the Palmatro Door Blaster. It is a lightweight door breaching tool. You only need a few seconds to set it up and another few seconds to open the door quietly and quickly, which is what you need for a successful operation. No large amount of debris is left behind, unlike when explosives or battering rams are used. The Amphibious Rig. In the recent past, the military had quite a hard time crossing rivers that were far too deep for their vehicles to maneuver, but that is no longer a challenge. Thanks to the invention of the M3 Amphibious Rig, it is a military vehicle that can move both on land and in water. On road, it uses four wheels, and in water, it self-deploys two big aluminum pontoons, which create buoyancy and transform the rig into a raft. And since every second counts in the battlefield, the pontoons can be deployed while the rig is on the move, regardless of whether it is on the road or in the water. The vehicle has four ramps that can be connected to another amphibious rig. In three minutes, two or more rigs can be connected to form a ferry that is capable of carrying the heaviest main battle tanks. In 15 minutes, eight rigs can be connected to make a 100-meter long bridge. Amazing! The M3 Amphibious Rig has a payload capacity of 85 tons for tracked vehicles and 132 tons for wheeled vehicles. In simple terms, there is nothing that the military can't get across rivers, ravines, or any other water obstacle. DARPA Captive Air Amphibious Transporter DARPA Captive Air Amphibious Transporter is a 1 to 5 CEAT scale tracked amphibious vehicle prototype. It moves on water with the help of air-filled pontoons that are attached to its tracks. It is capable of transporting standard 20 to 40 feet containers from the container ships to shore without the need for a harbor. So, how is this useful to the military? It is meant to relieve military ships from commercial shipping during disasters. This basically means that the military ships can concentrate on military tasks that they are meant for. If you think that this was interesting, you should look out for number one as it will absolutely blow your mind, SIG MCX Virtus. A rifle is one of the most important things that are needed in order to meet the various security needs. But the SIG MCX Virtus is not your usual kind of rifle. And I'm not just saying that. It has a modular design that allows individual configuration to carry out specific tasks. According to the manufacturer, SIG, there are over 500 possible configurations that can be made. The stock of the MCX Virtus has a folding and adjustable make, which simply means that it can be used by just about anyone. It also has a thick barrel and a two-stage trigger, meaning it is more accurate. SIG MCX Virtus can fire 20,000 shots without replacing any parts. After lots of tests and trials, it has been found to be reliable and wear-resistant. No mud, water, sand, or ice can interfere with its normal functioning. How cool is that? Navy LCS 
The Navy LCIC is a high-speed air-cushioned vehicle used as an amphibious landing craft. It boasts of a payload capacity of 75 tons. It is mainly used in transporting weaponry, cargo, and marine personnel from the ship to the shore and also across the beach. It is able to maintain a speed of 74 kilometers an hour on full load. Most conventional landing can only access 15% of the world's coastline, but the Navy LCAC can access up to 70%. It can handle a five-member crew and is not intimidated by the depth of the water, underwater obstacles, or tides. It has ramps at the front and rear, which makes offloading a lot faster. It also can comfortably maneuver on rough terrains, such as sand dunes, ditches, and wet snow. It is the perfect vehicle for carrying out ambush attacks, as the enemy cannot tell the location and time of attack, since it can conveniently launch an attack 50 miles offshore. M1150 US M1150 is simply an assault breacher vehicle, or if you'd like, a mine and explosives clearing vehicle. It is 40 feet long and weighs a whopping 72 tons. It has a 1,500 horsepower engine and a 50 millimeter machine gun. These tracked combat vehicles are specifically designed to clear the pathways through the minefields to ensure that the troops and other military vehicles are not caught by surprise by any bombs or improvised explosive devices. Its front is equipped with a 15 foot wide mine plow which glides through the soil in search of hidden bombs. The breachers have a linear demolition charge system with C4 explosives. They can be launched up to 150 yards forward, which ensures effective explosion of hidden bombs at a safe distance. T-Ghost. From its name, you could tell that this military technology may have drawn part of its inspiration from ghosts. Ghosts are generally invisible, and in the war zone, you can't shoot what you can't see. T-Ghost is a Swedish camouflage tank that is practically invisible to thermal imaging systems. It has a high caliber 120 mm compact cannon with reduced recoil and weight. The powerful fighting tank allows the military to make the first strike at their enemies before they can even have a clue of their presence. How cool is that? Kalinen K-7 Kalinen K-7 is without a doubt one of the strangest aircraft ever created. Its physical appearance is far from the kind of aircraft we are all used to. That's probably because it was built back in the 1930s and is among the very first metal monster aircrafts. It was over 9 feet long and had a wingspan of over 173 feet. The wings were internally spacious, which is what gave room to the many passengers. But that's not all. It also had 16 furnished staterooms, radio room, sleeping rooms, smoking lounge, and a small restaurant. Kalinin K-7 weighed 53,193 lbs when empty and 83,176 lbs when loaded. It could attain a maximum speed of 140 km. Unfortunately, this humongous aircraft didn't last long as it crashed in November of 1933. Drugs, the military certainly has some mind-blowing technology up its sleeve. Which one of these gadgets or vehicles impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of Forever Green.